okay we are looking at the intestines first let us understand most important question how to identify small intestine and large intestine we are looking at small intestine for large intestine we will have a different texture okay we will have separate texture for small intestine and large intestine the fold of mesentery okay the fold of peritoneum which is holding the intestine is called as mesentery now there are different folds for small intestine and large intestine this is something hanging from the bottom of large intestine you see so here we can make out that this is greater omentum which is hanging from the transverse colon now if you have to identify the difference between small and large intestine look at this large intestine is held by small small folds of peritoneum with pouches like peritoneum having fat pouches okay these are called as appendices epiploicae these are appendices epiploicae now i am just holding small intestine to show you the difference for small intestine we don't have appendices epiploicae but for the large intestine we have this fat pouches appendices epiploicae next we will see that large intestine is showing some pouch like folds okay you can see that the entire structure of large intestine it shows some kind of inward foldings these are called as hostrations or sacculations that means the appearance itself gives a saccu like appearance we will see the different parts of large intestine we can see saccular appearance these are called as sacculations or hostrations then the third important feature for the large intestine is longitudinal muscle coat now have a look at the structure closely we can see that longitudinal muscle coat okay on this border also we can make out where you can see this peritoneal fold is attached okay so along this border you can see along this margin okay there are three longitudinal muscle coats on this side we cannot clearly see but three longitudinal muscle coats these are called as tinea colli i'm giving you a closer look here you can see longitudinal muscle fibers okay these are called as tinea colli so this is about the large intestine